I don't believe I have previously covered this on this channel, but Texas is currently going against the United States government when it comes to the border at the Supreme Court level. And they have been escalating recently. If you haven't looked into the escalations, I highly recommend you go look them up. It includes National Guard of Texas essentially seizing federal property and then denying access to the Border Patrol to the property that they run and the border itself and it's just kind of heating up and we do have this update here in court filing referencing some of it. The government filed its reply at approximately 5 p.m. on January 10th. Hour later, Border Patrol learned that Texas National Guard members have begun erecting new wire barriers adding to those along the approximately 2.5 mile stretch of the border at issue in this case. Texas also erected new fencing located further inland than the original wire. That fencing further restricts Border Patrol's ability to reach the river in particular areas. The relevant stretch includes the area of Shelby Park, which contains the boat ramp from which Border Patrol routinely launches the patrol boats that use the stretch of the Rio Grande. It also includes the staging area that Border Patrol has used to evaluate and begin inspecting migrants that has apprehended along the stretch of the border. Border Patrol agents in a vehicle towing a boat to launch on the boat ramp requested access to Shelby Park, but the Texas National Guard refused to permit them access to the area. Border Patrol agents likewise requested access to the staging area, and Texas National Guard refused. In addition, prior to the evening of January 10th, Border Patrol agents were able to drive trucks with mounted surveillance equipment on various locations in this area. Those trucks were used to maintain visibility and awareness of areas on the stretch of the river and border, but the Texas National Guard has now blocked Border Patrol's access to the area, rendering its agents unable to place mobile surveillance trucks. Border Patrol's ability to view this portion of the uh, border is now limited to a narrow sliver from a single surveillance camera located outside of the newly fenced area. So essentially, Texas is now making sure the border is not secure. While complaining, the border needs to be more secure. And if that doesn't sum up Republicans in 2024, I don't know what does. Maybe he's hoping the governor of Texas to pitch this into a 2028 presidential run.